Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look or a closer look at this Deluxe. What I have here with me is their black stitchless Safiano leather. Okay, so as you all, if you are following my channel, you might have uh, recently uh, noticed that I have uh, picked up this, uh, you know, beautiful long jean legend diver that comes with a 36 millimeters uh, case diameter and it comes with a 19 millimeters width. Uh, I don't have any shortages of 19 millimeter straps, in fact, but uh, the thing is that the original strap that came with this watch, let me just show you quickly here. Okay, so this is the strap that comes uh, attached to this watch originally and I found the strap to be too long for my small 6 inch or 15.2 centimeters wrist so I you know uh, started exploring different kind of straps and uh, more dressy style you know because I have a lot of uh, 19 millimeter straps that are not that dressy they are more towards the casual side because I bought them mostly for my Tudor Black Bay 36 or my Rado Captain Cook 37 millimeters or even my Grand Seiko quads you know so they are more like uh, casual semi-casual or not that kind of formal strap so for this because the long jean legend diver always feel to me personally like the uh, most uh, or one of the most dressy dry divers uh, dive watch out there so I wanted a uh, strap that is a little more dressy okay so yeah in in order to replace this ultra long super duper long strap so i ended up getting a strap from uh, deluxe so deluxe if you are not familiar with them they are a singaporean based company and they make uh, standard straps and as well as um, custom straps so if you like you know want to like custom made say a shorter strap or a strap that you know doesn't have that much of deep taper and different kind of materials different thickness and sort of like uh, things like that they do provide that kind of service but what i went with uh, for this one is from their standard uh, lineup so this one it's a 19 millimeter strap and it's a short version so they have short standard and long version of strap yeah because i have a small wrist so i went for that short version so today we're going to take a closer look at the strap and see if it's uh, any good so before we go in further i just want to make it clear that this is not a sponsored video i purchased this strap and paid for it with my own money so this strap this particular model it retails for 80 us dollars yes eight zero us dollars so by all means it's not a cheap or not uh, extremely affordable but um, yeah we'll see if it's any good a disclaimer here I'm not an expert in leather so yeah you can read up more on leather but uh, you know from what I found out is that Sofiano was popularized or maybe patented by Prada so Sofiano itself is like a texturing that they do on this uh, calf leather okay so it's not like the type of the leather itself, if I'm not wrong. Um, it's more towards the process of the leather. So this one is popularized by Prada. But, you know, I think uh, it has been patented, but the patent has uh, elapsed. And a lot of people are doing this kind of Safiano texturing on the leather. So that's that's a whole process of the so-called Safiano leather in, 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 a, in a gist, you know, just in a very short manner because I'm not an expert. So apparently... Um, Deluxe, for this leather, they sourced it from a tannery in Italy. So maybe that's why the pricing, it's a little bit upscale because it's it's not like your regular off-the-shelf or some unknown source kind of leather. So yeah, the material itself, I believe it's, it's a little pricier, so which makes the whole strap a little pricey. So in terms of comfort, I would say the strap, it feels really good. It's soft, you see, it's soft, it's pliable. And it conforms to the wrist uh, really easily because it's not overly thick, it's not overly stiff. So the first time you put it on, it will just, you know, uh, fit your wrist nicely. And yeah, as you can see, I'm mostly wearing this on the um, second last hole. So right. Um, fitting wise, I think it fits okay. You see, even though like they're saying that it's a 19 millimeter strap, so you don't like have a very big gap. And there's no like, you know, uh, a super tight fit that you sometimes you can hear like the red leather rubbing on the 
case that gives you some kind of a squeaky sound. So I don't have that here, but it could be also due to the uh, paint or the so-called seal on the side of the leather. Overall, I would say um, it's a good leather strap and it also comes with quick release buckle, okay? Um, yeah, this one I've swapped it out with the uh, long jean original buckle, but if you are interested, so this is the, let me just take it. This is the original um, buckle that comes with the leather strap. So it's a, a sign buckle. I think it's laser edge or laser engraved. So you have the deluxe logo and brand name here. So um, if you were to ask me if it's really like, you know, worth the $80, uh, frankly, I'm not sure. Because first of all, um, I have to stress again that I'm no expert in leather. And to me, any leather that feels comfortable on the wrist, conforms to my wrist, to me, they are good leather, as long as they are genuine, right? I mean, even though if they are like faux leather, because based on my limited knowledge, to me, as long as they feel comfortable, they feel high quality, they wear it's nice and they last long, yeah, to me, it's good enough. So, which brings us to this strap. So, I'm going to do maybe like an unfair comparison. So, this one, it's also a Safiano leather. But uh, this one, I got it from Strapsco. This is from the Dasari lineup. So as you can see, um, this one, it's a 20, I think. Yeah, it's a 20 millimeters uh, Safiano leather. And if we were to compare just the texture side by side, you can see that they have the same texture because Safiano is the process of uh, texturing the leather. Okay, so in terms of feel you know if you like really touch it by hand and all that due to my limited knowledge um i don't see a lot of difference i i don't feel a lot of difference in terms of the leather okay uh here this one the strap go is slightly thicker but um that's not any indication of quality it's just like a preference so maybe here they put some extra padding or they put some additional lining in between and if you look at the um backing the leather backing I think on the Z, uh, on the Deluxe, they mentioned that it's a, some kind of a Zermatt leather that is uh, hypoallergenic. Um, for straps co, I'm not too sure, but I've been wearing some of their straps, you know, this Safiano, Safiano leather. See, this one is a gray color. As you can see, I've been wearing it. There's some sign of wear. Um, I would say I don't have any issues. I don't have any rashes. I don't have any allergies and all that. So. Yeah, maybe it's uh, okay as well. So the straps go. I believe I got this for. Let me let me try to recall. I think it's twenty nine ninety. There is a version that is uh, thirty nine ninety, but I think yeah, I went for the cheaper one. But I don't, you know, frankly, due to my limited knowledge, I have to stress again. I don't feel a lot of difference. But um, the problem is that for this strap score, you cannot uh, find a 19 millimeters lug width. They do offer like different lengths, but they don't have a lot of choices when it comes to lug width. So which um, brings me to this one. Okay, so there are some um, watch strap sellers or watch strap makers that offer 19 millimeters lug width, but I would say there are not a lot of choices unless we go like, you know, a custom made or uh, uh, custom made leather right? so yeah um, I think I would you know I'm not too sure how beneficial this video is but and I just want to share with you guys you know if you are looking for high quality leather strap yeah they could this could be a better choice but you know if you are like somebody that is really tight on budget and all that um, the strap itself yeah you can say that it can buy um, you know a Seiko 5 you know? So that's that's uh, the gist of this video. So yeah, if you ask me for advice, you know, whether you should get this or not, well, I would say if budget is not a concern and you really want like, you know, assurance of high quality and really like high, uh, I think good finishing kind of strap, yeah, you will have uh, no nothing wrong going with uh, going with them. You know, you you won't you won't go wrong, right? But if you're really running tight on budget, you know there are there are different alternatives here that are more affordable. Um, yeah. So because I do not know the content of the leather, you know whether or not the, are they from the same source, are they from the same type of leather. All I can say is like by feel and by look, um, there's not a lot of difference between the two. It's not to say that, you know, the Deluxe is bad or whatever. I think they are good. Um, I think most of the price is to the, the high quality material. So hopefully um, this video makes some sense. Um, and yeah, hopefully I don't get a lot of hate by doing this. I'm not saying that this is bad. 
But yeah, this is a good option, all right? But uh, it's on a higher price. I know there are a lot of ladders that are much more expensive, but yeah, it depends on what you want. So yeah, this is my personal opinion. So hopefully this gives you some guidance on whether or not you want to get this strap for your watches or not. All right, I guess that's it for this video. Um, Till then, stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.